Hey everyone, so here's a review on the Ameristep Bone Collector Blind. Um, sorry if it's a little shaky, I'm using my tablet. My phone died. So, um, it's gonna go over the pros and cons about this blind. Um, I like the blind, it's got a lot of room in it. It uh, fits two guys comfortably. Uh, nice big door there, as you see. It's easy to get in and out of, especially when you have all your gear on. Um, one downside about this blind that isn't a, like a huge problem, but it's the uh, tie downs for your stake. Kind of uh, tough to get to, and you have to put them on. Yeah, like I can even grab it. There it is. And there, and you have to put it on the outside, kind of like the ones where you can do it on the inside. So if you brush this in, if you hit the stake, and you can still do it on the inside there. Um, your toggles, or not your toggles, but your lines to keep it tied down work pretty good. I've had this out in the bush for a couple of weeks, and it's never budged or moved at all. Um, it's not the tallest in the world, but I mean, you're mostly sitting down in these things, so it's not a huge problem. Go take a look inside. Uh, this is the inside. The windows are uh, this silent open toggle system. If you want to open them up. This hole, this gun porthole, is the one thing with this blind I really don't like. Um, especially when you're bow hunting. I kind of like the idea of having it there, especially in the early season when, when it's still hot out and there's bugs everywhere. You don't have to worry about getting eaten by mosquitoes, especially uh, up, uh, where I'm at. Uh, when I first started bow hunting, I was pretty much decked out, full clothing, head to toe, as thick as possible, and I'd just be cooking, and they're still biting me through that crap. And So with these holes here, I wasn't a huge fan of it, because mosquitoes still get in, and you can try to cover them up a little bit like that with the flap, but... I mean, uh, other than that, the um, one other downside to this blind is these spaces right in here between these two windows. Let's see if I can open it up here so you guys can get a good view of it. Give two more seconds. So as you can see, there's that huge gap that you can't see through. And I'm not a huge fan of that either. Because it really limits your uh, shooting window. Um, I also have another blind, it's a Baronet 250. And with those, the windows go basically, zoom here, focus. Goes from corner all the way to the other corner. And uh, that is, as far as I'm concerned, that's the best best kind of viewing for a blind. Yeah, the ones where it's just uh, the slits, that's uh, not bad either, but usually they don't have any uh, mesh in them to keep the bugs out, keep the wind, well, not so much the wind, but the animals from seeing you. But I mean, other than that, it's a, it's a decent blind. It's, I mean, let's see here. About to my arm span both ways across. I mean, my I've had me and my other buddy in here, and uh, he's almost seven foot, and we sat in here pretty comfortably with two bows and our gear. So uh, the stitching in here is, um, and as you can see, the stitching's kind of okay. 
it's not watertight. Um, I have been in this thing when it's been raining and it'll get the odd drip on you every once in a while. I mean the fabric itself is fairly waterproof but it comes in through all these stitching holes all over the place and but, you know, it is what it is. I mean you're hunting it's not a, it's not a hotel. So that's just a quick little look and review of the blind. Um, the fabric is it's a nice fabric. It's not a, not like a plasticky feel. It's more of a actual fabric. It does make noise, um, but it uh, it doesn't seem to fade as much as uh, everyone says these things do. Like, like again, I've had this thing out in, well, I've only had it about two seasons, but I've had it out for a few weeks at a time every time I've gone hunting. And uh, yeah, it's holding up pretty good. It doesn't seem to be fading, as far as I can tell at all. Um, go around. But yeah, it's, uh, it's like I said, it's a good blind. It's nice and big. It's uh, price points, but uh, depending where you get anywhere from 175 to 250 and depending where you buy it you might be able to get it cheaper now that it's been out for a few years um, so yeah pros um, the room inside um, the easeability of using it the cons would be those gun port holes I'm not a huge fan and the gaps in between the mesh that's just uh, not enough viewing as far as I'm concerned but it's done its job so far. So it's a quick little view review on the Maristep Bone Collector ground line.